Well, it's that time of year when we need to pull the shovels out of the shed and get them ready to turn over the soil so we can have those planting beds ready for our new plantings coming up. And I've asked Alan Jobs, our studio gardens manager, to join me in helping us uh, get some pointers here on cleaning up the shovels. Now, Alan, what's the first thing we need to do? Well, the first thing I'd say to do is break out those shovels and, and look at them and inspect them. And let's try to get some of that grunge off and the dirt that's built up and, and maybe some of the compost that was left on there. And just use a wire brush and, and break it loose if you have to. Break out the water and, and a little bit of soap and a scrub brush and just clean those up. Now, I know sometimes they get a little bit more rusty and corroded. What, yeah. what do we do in that case? Well, the next thing is I'd break out a, a right angle grinder with a wire wheel. Be sure to use some protective goggles and just use it to clean it up like this. And it just does a really nice job of, of cleaning it up. But before it gets that bad, I'd recommend after every time you use it, to just take your wire brush and clean it up, a little bit of soap and water, and, uh, and clean it up with a little bit of disinfectant. That way you don't spread any nematodes. And mm -hmm. we have that problem out here. Well, I know that's kind of a rule with <laughs> our helpers and volunteers is that after we use a shovel, we always clean them up so we don't spread the nematodes or diseases from bed to bed. So that's a good practice. Now, Starting out, you had me putting the shovel in this bucket. What is the purpose of this? Well, they say that's a little trick of the trade, something uh, that they say is really handy to do, and it's just take some sand, put it in a bucket, set it by where you put your tools, dump a little bit of your uh, lawnmower uh, engine oil after you change the engine in there, and as you push that shovel in there, it just abrasive of the sand cleans off it off mm -hmm. and puts a little coat of oil on there. And we do that after each time we use it again. And of course, before we put it in the garden bed, we'd wipe that off. But I, I guess that would be a good way to kind of keep it clean and polished up. Mm -hmm. Well, Alan, thanks. And, and we're going to have Alan back in a few weeks to help us uh, sharpen up the tools on how to sharpen pruners and shovels to make sure we don't have to put maybe as much effort in the That's garden. That's true. So, Alan, thanks again. Thank you, Steve. <laughs>